The following is a presentation of Realtree Outdoor Productions. A lot of people think a glass or a slate type caller are very hard to use, and honestly they're not. A glass or slate type turkey call is very simple to master. Basically it's just like writing your name. What you want to do is you want to hold the pan portion of the call in your off hand and the striker just like a pencil. The most important thing is putting that striker on the slate or glass surface at the right angle. You want to use the back edge of the striker, probably at about a 45 degree angle. And just draw the striker across the surface until you get a sound. Once you get a sound, the yelp is a very easy call to make. All you have to do is move the striker in circle or oval shaped motions. And you can build up speed to increase your uh, turkey rhythm to sound like a more excited hen. Pluck, you just want to pull the striker towards you in a short, abrupt stroke. And for excited or aggressive cutting, all you have to do is step up your clucking technique in just a little bit faster rhythm. For purring, the best way to do it is just to pull the striker and let the striker drag across the surface. And the purring is usually a very soft or contented type call, so you don't need a lot of pressure on the striker. If you haven't tried a slate or a glass type call, I really think you ought to add one to your turkey hunting equipment. I really think it can increase your chances. I'm Matt Moret. Hello, I'm Nick Sisley, shotgun editor of Guns and Hunting magazine. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about patterning a shotgun. There might be a little confusion about it, but it's really easy, and we're going to show you just exactly how. All you need is a shotgun, maybe like this Mossberg 835, some different shotgun shells, and a target. very good one is this one from Visible Impact, with the turkey head and neck area right on there, plus the circle is already drawn for you, so you can do your pellet counts. Do your pellet counts in the circle area, as well as in the head and neck area. Those are just how effective and how far your gun might be able to kill a turkey. The other thing you need, of course, is shotgun shells. Most experts like fours, fives, and sixes. Modern turkey guns have uh, screw-in chokes, and it's best to go with the screw-in choke that patterns your shell the best. Sometimes you can go even too tight with turkey chokes, and then the pattern starts opening back up. But again, pretty easy to pattern your gun. Let me show you how. Okay, we've got this pattern all set up. Notice behind, we selected a safe area. The shot's not gonna hurt anybody or anything back there. Uh, we're just gonna pace off to 40 yards and try a two, two ounce, three inch magnum and see how it works. One, two, three. Nine, 40. It's important to stand up when you shoot. You want the recoil to take your body back a little bit, absorb it. You sit up against a tree like this, why the tree is going to prevent you from moving back at all. It's important to wear uh, shooting glasses like I have on here, and so you can hear all those uh, turkey gobbles at a long distance. In the future, definitely wear earplugs. Big safety factor. What we're going to try this morning are the Federal two ounce premiums. This one's going to be a number six shot at 40 yards. Let's give it a try. Well, those sixes had a lot of power. This is heavy foam here, knocked the whole target over. But now look, well, we've got some awesome coverage at 40 yards with those federal premium sixes. Lots and lots of uh, hits in the in the head and neck area. And uh, that means that at 40 yards, we can sure kill a turkey. But how about 45? You might want to, if you get patterns like this, you might want to move the target back, say, five more yards. And if you get lots of uh, head and neck hits, then you're going to have great confidence in even killing a turkey at 45 yards. Let's try it with the number four. Boy, this. Three-inch magnums really recoil. 
I think when I was 20, I could handle them a lot better. You saw how those six are patterned. Now we're going to try the Federal Premium Number 4. Oh, boy, it's a good one. As you can see, we've got lots of coverage in the head and neck area. Of course, we don't have as many as with the number sixes because there are so many more pellets in number six. But this is still a very good pattern and one you might be able to move back to 45 yards to see if you still have adequate, adequate coverage. As you've seen, it's pretty easy to pattern your shotgun by just following a few easy tips. Good luck.